Hey, another mini message for you today. And today we're going to finish up Genesis uh, chapter 30, and then we'll dive over into chapter 31 tomorrow. But uh, Jacob is fixing to get rich, and it's God's blessing on him. Uh, and God uses some interesting means for this. So if you go back to the previous uh, mini message, the past couple of days, we've been dealing with flocks, with uh, Laban and Jacob. And Jacob saying he'll just take the speckled and spotted and the black sheep, and that's it. Well, Laban decides to take all of those animals away before Jacob can do that. And so verse 37 shows us Jacob's response. It says, Then Jacob took some fresh branches from poplar, almond, and plane trees and peeled off strips of bark, making white streaks on them. Then he placed these peeled branches in the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink, for that was where they made it. And when they made it in front of the white streaked branches, they gave birth to young that were streaked, speckled, and spotted. That Jacob separated those lambs from Laban's flock. At, and at mating time, he turned the flock to face Laban's animals that were streaked or black. And this is how he built his own flock instead of increasing Laban's. And whenever the stronger females were ready to mate, Jacob would place the peeled branches in the watering troughs in front of them. Then they would mate in front of the branches. But he didn't do this with the weaker ones, so the weaker lambs belonged to Laban, and the stronger ones were Jacob's. As a result, Jacob became very wealthy with large flocks of sheep and goats, female and male servants, and many camels and donkeys. You know, today we talk about stock portfolios and real estate and uh, cash holdings and all those kind of things. Well, in this day and age, you were wealthy with sheep, goats, camels, and donkeys. So it's a little, a little different way of measuring. But this is one of those cases where God simply said, I'm going to increase Jacob's wealth. Now, what's interesting here is God never tells him to do all of these things. God never says to take the branches from the poplar, the almond, and the plane trees, peel off this bark. God doesn't do that. That seems to me to be Jacob kind of trying to solve the problem. You know, he maybe this was some type of superstition. Maybe somebody told him this is what he should do. We don't really know. But what we do know is that God increased the flock. You know, sometimes we come up with our plans and God works in spite of our plans. And that's kind of what I see here with uh, Jacob in this particular situation is he had a scheme because he's the schemer but God gave the increase. And God was preparing Jacob for something. He was preparing to send him back home, and he wanted to send him back home uh, with his pockets full. There's just no other way to put it. He wanted to send him back home with everything he needed to supply for his family and to set himself up and to be wealthy and to have the things that he needed. He, this was simply God's blessing coming down on him. So I think, honestly, we can kind of look at this whole poplar almond plane trees thing as superstition and God working in spite of the superstition. So we don't have to scheme to get God's blessings. We just have to trust in God. See you guys later.